Young Thugs does some shit. I'd have to look that up. I'd have to look that up. Uh, moving on, we're going to talk about some of the new music that dropped while we were away. <laughs> yeah, some of this is a little bit older, but some of it's a little bit newer. Uh, Travis Scott, Jack Boys. Most recent to us. I liked two songs. I liked them. I liked the two songs that you liked, but I do like the one or two more. The rest, the rest of it was just weird. It was like trying to be too wavy to me. Um, uh, we tried to find out who the Jack Boys were. They, it, it's a the consensus group of everyone basically. And what I've kind of figured out is the feature basically has the main verse of the song. Yeah. So, so basically, like, it's like everybody who's on the EP is in Jack Boys, but the feature says who's on the song, basically. Basically, who got the majority of the verse, in my opinion. Yeah, Travis Scott's on like all of the songs too. So yeah, but the Jack Boys consist of Quavo, Young Thug, Pop Smoke, Roddy Rich. Um, Roddy Rich was on that tape. No, I'm sorry, uh, Sheck West. I'm so sorry, Sheck West, not Roddy Rich. Yeah, I was gonna say Roddy Rich is Sheck West. Um, I'm so sorry. Sheck <laughs> West, that. not t- there's no T. T. There's no West. It's Wes. Like Wes. Bitch, I'm Shaq, what? And I'm getting really rich. All right. All right. Um, anyway, Jack Harlow, Confetti. Fuck with fan. it. Big I like the whole album as a whole. I didn't get bored listening to the whole thing. Um, Travis once. Scott, I wanted to skip some songs. I'm not going to lie. But Definitely. it's not even a Travis Scott EP. It's Jack Boys. So. My opinion is if you can listen to an album start to finish, you definitely made a good album. I saved like four songs, I think, from it. And uh, I definitely start to finish. Why? Well, Digging the whole thing, so definitely Jack Harlow's got like uh, Big Chillin', Ice, uh, Warsaw. Damn, I can't even think of right uh, any right now. I'm just a little sauced up. Yeah, but it, it was a good song. It's it's that it's a that bouncy vibe. Yeah, it's like he created his own sound for sure. It's like a some some version of like a West Coast bounce, honestly, in my opinion. But it's like it's definitely its own sound, and he's like taking it to a place that's really dope. Yeah, definitely, and just just representing the white boys out here. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, it's cool it's as fuck. Um, fucking next up, we got my favorite Smoke personally, Perp, Dead Star Two. I just thought it was regular old Smoke Perp. I didn't think it was too much to be. Uh, I personally, I like this because he's going back to his roots where he started. It reminds me a lot of Ski Mask, and. Uh, I don't know. He doesn't do the auto tune like he did in Do- Dead Star One. Yeah, I that. feel that. I feel that. And he just is more like beach. Yeah, he just like it, it was more a beat for me than trying to get sensual with the auto tune. I, I just was a big fan of Smoke Perp, this new album. So shout out to you, Smoke Perp. That was fire. Um, yeah, it's pretty dope. I like like three songs off it. I think it was pretty good overall. I just think he, it's kind of the same old thing to me. I mean, I, I'm I'm sure I'm assuming he's gonna expand at some point. If he doesn't, then I think that's a real flop for Smoke Perp. But it's it sounds good. At least it sounds good in his own sound. But it just sounds kind of the same. So at the end of the day, you can take that for what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, next up, we got NLE Chapa Cottonwood. Um, DJ should explain this more because I guess he made the album around a short film that he did. Yeah. So basically, the short film consisted of it was like ten minutes long. And every like minute and whatever, 15, 30 seconds was like a small preview of a snippet of his song. And he based this short story in his hometown around the song. And it was it was really cool to me because personally, I've never seen that done. Um, just I don't know if someone's ever done that. But to see Nelly Chapa kind of break down the short story with his songs is cool as fuck. It was cool. It's kind of gnarly because I don't ever take, no offense to NLE, but I don't ever take him as like the smart, like, put you together. Did, you just saw vibe. him on his No Jumper podcast well, where he's off, off, off the, the perks. Off the perks. He's all, his, Adam's like asking about his, his face tattoos. He's like, eh. he just didn't know what to say. He just, like, every, every question. At a mass, like he didn't he's really just, care. You can look in his eyes and just see he's not there. Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. No disrespect. But no disrespect I whatsoever. I, would, I wouldn't expect him to fucking be the guy to put some shit together like that. That's yeah, pretty dope. I gotta look at that. I still didn't look at that. And we talked about that yesterday and I should have fucking looked at it, but yeah. I didn't look at it. It's whatever. But um, a good, a good. I didn't listen to it start to finish. Not like Jack Harlow's, but good good album with some bangers this next one i really fucked with did you get a chance to listen to this not all of it just a couple of songs you previewed to me um i fucked with this album a lot actually it's 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 a lot like uh 
It's Roddy Rich. Please excuse me for being antisocial. It's it's like it's not Bryson Tiller trap soul, but it's fucking like it's trap soul, bro. It's it's something about it that's like it's like so soulful, but it's like still talking about like like the streets and stuff. Like you just have to listen to it. It's just its own sound. I will say though, at sometimes Roddy started to sound like Future. Which is kind of discerning because some of the in-between songs, when you listen to the whole album, he starts to sound like Future to me and it's starting to like mix the sounds. And I think it's, I don't know, it's something that I don't like it, but it just sounds like Future. That's just, it's just what it is. And I can't put my opinion. I've listened to it all the way through, so. I did, The bangers that are on there, though, are bangers. There's He has like four bangers on there like that are super, like I pro- probably will be four hits off of. He has that DJ Mustard song. He's got Box where it's that, um, uh, uh, I'm gonna drink the whole sea. I'm gonna get lazy. That song. Yeah, I remember that's, you just I'm gonna pop the, the whole damn sea. I'm gonna get, yeah, yeah, that shit. And then he has got a bunch of fucking songs on there that are just hot as fuck. Honestly, I'll have to, definitely have to peep it after this. Sorry, I couldn't put my opinion on this. <laughs> <laughs> 